What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Taddy Collector. A lot of you have been asking me, where have I been? Well, 2021 was a heck of a year, but it's now 2022. I've got some pickups. So you ready? Let's go. Hey, how are you? Alrighty. Alright, cool. That's I got all. the console too, but I don't know if you want uh, I've got, I didn't bring it. I so. probably got like 10 of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm always interested in buying them, but you know, I, I moving them is, is the thing. But there's the 50 for that. All right, folks, I'm in Goodwill, and I found a couple of DVDs. We got MacGyver, the TV movies. That's sealed. That's going to sell for about 12 bucks. I found this for myself, Batman the Animated Series, Out of the Shadows. Here's a movie that sells for about $25 DVD. And Legends of Rock goes for about 12 bucks. Found that on the shelf. We'll keep looking around, see what else we can find. So I decided to put a few back. I just picked up the MacGyver and that Mikado movie that sells for about 25 bucks. On to the next. How you doing? Hey, okay. <laughs> I'm here. Doing all right? Yes, sir. Nice car. Thank you. <sighs> Y'all doing all right today? Oh, yeah. You want to buy the youngin too? Yeah, I don't, no, I don't think I can afford him. Uh, everything's, in there. everything's there. Yep. Alrighty. So you take it out and look at it before. Yeah, it. sure. Oh, all the games you don't hardly ever play it. So it's sitting there on the counter. Or what? In the console. The TV yeah. Just sitting there. Has it been hot enough for you? Man, I'll tell you. It's, it's getting on up there. Alrighty, and the system's all in there. Oh yeah, I mean. You all the cables that, but... and everything. Yes sir. I believe you. If it ain't, I promise you, babe, we'll get them back. <laughs> Alrighty. But you can look at it if you want. I mean, oh yeah. Oh, and you had uh, extra controllers too? Yeah, we had extra. All right, we cool. bought new ones. I mean, they go with it. Everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. All righty. Yeah, it all looks like it's there. They all and never you said you wanted it. 150 for yeah. it? All righty. There's 150. Go ahead and count that all out. Right. Make sure it's all there. All right, cool. All righty. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Right, you sure you want to buy the young one? Nah, nah, I can't afford them. I can't afford them, man. Nah. You know how them food bills are. I've been raising these since he was two. <laughs> YouTube, what is going on? It is Tata Collector. It's been so long since I've talked to you guys, but it's time. I am tired of not making any videos. So what I did today was I went thrifting and I've been thrifting throughout the entire time of my absence. I've been buying and reselling, mostly selling off a lot of the collection. Uh, I took a good hiatus this year and just uh, took some time for me and some family and, and, uh, it worked out pretty well worked out pretty well and now i'm back in the ground and i want to start making more content so i hit up uh salvation army today and goodwill 
and a few pawn shops. Had zero luck at the pawn shops, but I did find a few cool things at the thrift that I wanted to share with you. All of this is just going to be strictly for resale so that I can put money back into the game collecting fund. Uh, you know, pay some bills. That's what I do. I'm a full-time reseller. So, at Salvation Army, I came across the OG original first print Clamshell Tron VHS. I picked this up for a dollar, I believe. And this particular clamshell sells anywhere between 20 to 25, sometimes 30, depending on condition, all day on eBay. So, of course, I had to pick that up. Plus, I mean, it's Tron. It is Tron. Look at the, the tape. It's got that old school brown uh, top on it. Old Walt Disney logo. Love it. Love it. Uh, the other item that I picked up from uh, Salvation Army is this briefcase. Now, I picked it up for $3.99. If my camera will focus. There it is, $3.99. It had the keys to go with it. The, these were on the inside. But what makes this pretty legit is that it is Samsonite. It is vintage Samsonite. And it, these Samsonite cases are almost impossible to destroy. Uh, the inside looked pretty good. It was in pretty good condition. The outside is a little dirty. It's got a little wear in there. But these Samsonite briefcases, I looked them up on eBay, of course, before I left the store. And you can get anywhere between $35 to $45 bucks for them. Uh, the last one I saw, uh, I saw sold was around $35 plus shipping, and that was without the keys. So I opened it up. They had the keys. Great. Awesome. Went to, uh, oh, also at Salvation Army, and I just dropped an item was this golf club. I'm always looking for golf clubs anytime I go, if I can get them cheap. But this is Callaway Golf, Big Bertha Hawkeye, uh, Seven Wood VGT Titanium. These go anywhere between, I want to say 35 to 45 bucks. 30 bucks con uh, conservatively plus shipping. And they had 4.99 on their golf clubs. So for five bucks, that was an easy pickup. The uh, the graphite shaft is in good condition, and the grip was in good condition. So for five bucks, why not? Then at Goodwill, let me pick it up. We found this sand disc. Clip Sport 8 gig MP3 player for $1.99. And I have yet to plug it in to test it to see if it even works. But for $1.99, I was like, why not? I looked up on eBay and they go anywhere between 30 to 40 bucks. So for two bucks, that's an easy flip. And then I've been getting into looking at clothing just for like old band t-shirts or some cool retro shirts or whatnot. And I come across this vintage Superman basketball jersey. And the last few of these that have sold have sold in the $20 to $25 range. It's got the old tag right there. Um, and then looking through all of the listings, the ones that I saw similar posted to this, actually the exact same ones with the S's on the side. Um, they all were listed as vintage. So I'm just going to trust that the other folks know what they're talking about as well. And it was in really good condition. So I think I paid $2.99 or $3.99 for this jersey. So that'll also be an easy flip.
Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Let's That's come under here where the over here where, <laughs> where there's wet. no no rain. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. There's all the games in there. There's two controllers and all the wires that go with it. Okay. And it does work. Alrighty. And I had the Super Mario world. But I couldn't find it. You couldn't find it. If you do no, find I it, I I could have let me know. I know. That's like a really popular thing. I loved it when I played it when yeah. I was a kid. So. Whenever you bought Super Nintendo's, like brand new, they yeah. were all. It was always a pack-in game, like the Mario Duck Hunt game yeah. was. Yeah. All right. Another game in here. We agreed on 70? Yep. All right. We did. Uh, count that, make sure it's all there. 20, 40, 50, 65, 70. All right. All right. Long drive. <laughs> yeah. I live in Apple County. Oh, Lord. No, I brought, I brought all this stuff here. You don't want to look at the tailgate? Yeah, well, let's go on the tailgate. Anyway, I brought all this stuff. Uh, all right. That's empty. Oh, no, that one. That, that one's empty. That one's empty. <laughs> I just uh, was trying to grab stuff that I had. Oh, you got a system too? No, right. I, I have this system. Yeah. Yeah. Just green. This system's full of here. I just had to go purchase these remotes. I have kids, so yeah. a lot of times I don't know what they do with half the stuff. Like I did have this Sega Genesis thing. I don't know where it went to. So now I just have a remote. <laughs> <laughs> you know what these are? Uh, Disney Infinity Aren't figures. Are they part of a video game thing? I think they are. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, I never heard I never really got into the Infinity stuff. I picked them up at an auction. Yeah. My kids just play with them, but I looked them up. Some of them, they, they can get worth money sometimes. Oh, uh, at least it was on that. That game you said wasn't uh, much I, fun. I, I didn't play. I played it and it wasn't much fun. Never played that one. That airstrike. You know that's that one. That's it, you play in a video game arcade that has the biplane that you just you steady shooting and mm -hmm. moving around in circles, basically not get shot. That's what that game. I took this thing apart to clean it real good, and it played. It plays the games, but uh, it needs a real good clean. Yeah, um, that shouldn't be a problem. I'd be interested in the the, the Super Nintendo, uh -huh. and then this stack of games here uh -huh. for sure. I, I like more of the older stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Kids like this thing. It's Xbox 360 anyway. I just uh, and that's just one remote. Um, well, like you know, we didn't we didn't have a price in mind on anything, but uh, I didn't. I, I hadn't even thought about how many games I got. I think you brought a few extra that you didn't send me pictures of. I think Maybe. 20 I that games. Game. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Is hard too. Yeah. Um, I think it was about 20. But see, I, 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 I'm, uh, personally, I, I'm more of a, I like to play. You know? Yeah. Nostalgic back when I was a kid. Yeah. I was born in 80, so I grew up on all the old stuff. So. Well, uh. This one is actually to a Nintendo. Is it to this Nintendo? Yeah. 
That's going to be the I, AV cable for it. I bought, I bought one. Yeah, so they actually fit Super Nintendo, GameCube, and um, N64. Is this the only problem with that? It pulled out right there. Yeah. I've got, to be honest with you, I got about 30 of them at my house. I don't Just for the controllers? Just for the controllers. They're brand new. But that might just been his up upsell price. Yeah. I don't know, shoot me a number. I don't know. Let me look at the camera back here. Because I bought this too because I didn't find the damn power original power cord. Like we got an extra one of these. Uh, let's see. I just took two dollars a piece for these. That, that'd be forty bucks, okay? Okay. Uh, and that that seems fair. To me. All right. And then uh, I'll do like another forty for the system. We make it an even hundred. I I think I'd be comfortable with it. Even hundred. Even hundred. All right. Cause then that because some of these games I paid closer to twenty five dollars for. Some of them right. I paid okay. Five dollars for. Okay. So. All right, uh, yeah, I think I could do 100. Okay. Because that's exactly how much I pulled out the oh. ATM. <laughs> I just came with a little extra because you said you had extra, so. Yeah, I did have the extra just in case you. Count that and make sure it's all there. I'm too stressed about it. Yeah. Yeah, so. all right, man. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate it. From that Wii U lot, I kept just the box and this stack of games. Need for Speed, Most Wanted You, Fast and Furious Showdown, Angry Birds Trilogy, Nintendo Land. I had Nintendo Land. Uh, it was just disc only. Came with another bundle that I bought. But I rarely find Wii U bundles in my area. And so this one was complete. So I kept this one and sold the disc only. Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform and SpongeBob SquarePants Plankton's, Plankton's Robotic Revenge. The... Mario Kart, the Tanks, 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 uh, and there was one other that I sold. I also sold the Luigi controller, the Wii controller, uh, that was complete in box. That sold for like 50 bucks uh, alone. alone. Uh, and so then I sold the system. I think I got like 120 plus shipping on it. I sold a couple other games. I made my money back, but I really just wanted this box. Did not have a Wii U box at all in my collection. So that's all that I kept from it. A few days ago, I went to Walgreens, my local Walgreens here, and picked up this Pokemon tin for $15.99. It did come bundled with a, uh, a Fusion Strike Pack. 
Chilling Rain pack, and a, an Evolving Skies pack. And out of that Evolving Skies pack, I pulled the, the Rayqu uh, Rayquaza VMAX alternate artwork card. This sold for $180 plus shipping. So fantastic pull there. I was so stoked to, to get that and pull that. Make some freaking money. Let's go. Okay, folks, you just saw the clip for this pickup. I just got this today. We got the Super Nintendo with two aftermarket controllers. This cleaned up really well. Works fantastic. The controllers work. Everything works. We got a great stack of games here. Some for the Nintendo and for the SNES. We got Mega Man 3, Super Mario Brothers 3, Mario 2, Dr. Mario, Ninja Turtles, Marvel Madness, Tetris, Double Dragon, Mario Duck Hunt, and Pac-Man. Uh, a few of these I will just bundle with a system because they don't sell very well individually. So that'll just be bundler games. Uh, the better games up here, I will sell those individually. And we got some good games for the SNES. Some of these I've never heard of. Rampart and Airstrike Patrol. Never heard of those. Rampart is about a $30 game. Airstrike Patrol is $20, $25. We got Killer Instinct, SimCity, Judge Dredd, Mario All-Stars, Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, Super Battleship, Super Battle Tank, War in the Gulf. Battleship, Super Battle Tank, uh, probably Judge Dredd. Killer Instinct, SimCity. I will uh, pair those with the system itself. Sell the other ones individually. We'll have a nice little bundle to go, bundle of games to go with the system. We'll get that sold. Also, a few days ago, I picked up this SNES Junior bundle, or SNES Mini bundle. Um, came with two aftermarket controllers. One of them did not work, uh, so I paired it with the one that does. Got a little stack of games that came with it. Wheel of Fortune Deluxe Edition, Super Tennis, Mortal Kombat 3, Mickey's Ultimate Challenge, Tetris and Dr. Mario, Super Mario All-Stars. These two have already sold. I've got these two listed separately. And then I bundled the system with these two games and a few extra games that I had laying around. Just, you know, a little five, six dollar games. Super Black Bass, Super Play Action Football, Nickelodeon, Ah, Real Monsters. But folks, there you have it. I am back. We're back on YouTube. I don't know when my next video is going to be, but I'm going to keep on hunting. I know that for the past several years, I've put out a video almost every single week. But uh, due to COVID and last year, I had to put my dog to rest. And uh, she was with me for 15 years. And that really took a toll on me, kind of made me sad and a little bit, a little bit depressed. Um, I, I really do miss her, but things just haven't been the same since since I I had to do that. And uh, but it's 2022. We're back on the grind. We're out there thrifting. We're out there game hunting. We're out there looking for things to flip and resell. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have not subscribed yet. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and while you're at it, hit that bell icon so you receive all notifications every single time I make an upload. Folks, I hope you have had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tatted Collector, and have a good one.